Now in an aquarium like this, there's all different sorts of organisms. This one here is an anemone. An anemone is very closely related to the jellyfish. It's the one that has the beautiful symbiotic relationship with the clownfish. An anemone can wander around, whereas a coral is a sensile organism, which means they can't actually move. Now within the corals, you've got different groups of corals. You've got what's called a soft coral. Now this one here is called a soft coral. When a soft coral dies, there's no hard shell. If a hard coral dies, such as these ones, there'll be a hard shell that's left over. So a hard coral leaves a hard shell. An anemone can move. A coral cannot move. And a soft coral will have what's called sclerites, which are little calcium fragments inside the coral. And they are one of the things that define it as a coral. But when it dies, the sclerites will all just wash away and there'll be nothing left of it. A hard coral will leave a shell behind. Now within the hard corals, there's also two main groups. There's a large polyp or um, large polyp stony coral or hard coral. And then you've got the SPS, which is a small polyped stony coral. This aquarium has only got large polyps. And in general, large polyps tend to be easier to keep. The small polyped ones are things like your acroporas or staghorns, the stiff ones. And they've got tiny little polyps in them. And as a generalization, they tend to be harder to look after. So that's just a little breakup of some of the different... Um, coral style animals that you can have in an aquarium like this.